I don't have Danny Flexen for seconds out. Just received an email notice from the British Boxing Board of Control um, that Conor Ben was asked to attend a hearing last Friday, uh, the 21st of October, to explain the uh, adverse findings from his VADA test before the postponed fight, as it turned out, with Chris Eubank Jr. Um, in the notice, it said that Conor Ben had voluntarily relinquished his British Boxing Board of Control boxer's licence on the morning of the hearing. Um, and from what we can tell from the language, it appears he didn't attend the hearing itself. He gave up his licence. His legal representatives were there. Um, and the board made a decision on the allegations of misconduct uh, they charged Ben with um, in his absence. Now, we believe. Um, and following the hearing, they decided that the allegations would be upheld. Um, Connor Ben's uh, misconduct. Um, that's what they decided. But also the, the main kind of story from this is that Connor Ben has, from what they've said, no comment from Ben himself just yet has voluntarily relinquished his British Boxing Board of Control licence. Now, what does this mean for the future for him? Can he still box? Yes, perhaps in other countries um, he'd be able to if he can get licensed from the various governing bodies over there. Uh, if it's in the US, for example, it's federal, so it's um, on a state level. Different state commissions uh, will uh, grant or deny a licence as and when appropriate if he wants to fight in that particular state. Um, and then other countries have their own um, governing bodies as well. Um, could he still fight in the UK? Potentially, um, if it was under the auspices of a different governing body, not the widely recognised British Boxing Board of Control. Um, we've seen other bodies stage shows here or sanction shows here. Um, but that would mean if he's still going to be promoted by Eddie Hearn and Matchroom, that would mean that Conor Ben will not uh, be able to fight on board shows and would Eddie Hearn then decide to use a different sanctioning body for any of his shows seems unlikely hasn't done it previously um, and although there were talks or rumors of that happening for the uh, Eubank Jr fight it never actually came to fruition Eddie Hearn made it clear that when push came to shove he didn't want to stage a show with a different um, governing body and, and his ties with the board have always been pretty strong so it kind of leaves Conor Ben with a few decisions to make, perhaps in, in no man's land as we speak now. Obviously, we heard from him on Instagram not too long ago, um, hoping that the uh, ultimate apology would be as loud or louder than the disrespect he feels he's had. Um, he has seemingly been tried already in the court of public opinion. Um, but I guess the, the counter argument to that is that we've had no public statement from Conor Ben, very little clarity from him or his team about exactly how they plan to clear his name. Um, will the B sample be opened? Is that, you know, a possibility of contamination? I haven't heard anything about that. Um, and perhaps, you know, going forward, would, is there a reason, some sort of reason why um, clomiphene uh, was found in his system uh, in the VADA test, other than, you know, intentionally cheating Presumably, there, there may be some uh, more innocent explanation, but again, we haven't been given any details of that, and that could be because legal processes are ongoing. But what we can say for sure is that right now, Conor Ben does not have a British Boxing Board of Control license, cannot appear on a boxing show uh, in a competitive capacity on any boxing show uh, sanctioned by British Boxing Board of Control, and the allegations against him of misconduct stemming from the adverse finding um, in the VADA test leading up to the Chris Eubank Jr. contest have been upheld um, by the Board of Control. Uh, and yeah, where it goes from here, we shall see. Um, but that is, is pretty big news and a pretty big development for the career of a fighter who's a huge ticket seller and on the verge, perhaps, of world title action. Um, it appears that if that's going to continue, that world title action may have to take place outside of the United Kingdom. Thanks very much for listening. Please uh, like, comment and subscribe.